everyone. My name is Dio Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast. And we're coming to you live from round three of the Space Jam Rome Tournament. Super excited to be here. I have been awake now since 1 a.m. I know that might seem seem like, wait, that you like woke up at 1 a.m.? No, no. I see. Well, kind of. I went to bed at 5 p.m. my time for the last two days. So I'm, I'm on European time. I'm, I'm, I'm living the Euro life right now. Just like my co-host... Darren Granger. That's right. That's Hello right. There, everybody. So uh, before we go too far, we're going to go ahead and uh, break down these lists in a minute. But if you're watching right now, you only got about two minutes left to bet your GSP credits in this match. Right now, the decimator, the left side, player one is heavily favored. So if player two wins, that is a big pot going towards anybody who uh, chose player two. If Marco can pull it out, which, by the way, let's go ahead and break down those lists, Darren. So uh, let's start with uh, Marco's list. So Marco is player two at the moment um, on the right-hand side of your screen. Uh, we've got Anakin Skywalker, and that's baby Anakin Skywalker in the Naboo N1 Starfighter with passive sensors and proton torpedoes. We've then got Wolf uh, just in his arc um, with no upgrades. We've got Mace Windu with Delta 7B, and then we've got a Gold Squadron Trooper with cluster missiles. Um, a few things to note on this list. Um, we've got three pilot skill four ships with uh, from Marco. Um, now Anakin um, has the ability to do a barrel roll that's not a barrel roll uh, prior to uh, uh, executing their maneuver, um, and with passive sensors and the force there, um, chances are he's going to have a, a decent shot. Um, and then Wolf. Wolf has a uh, built-in dice modification with uh, being able to um, re-roll a dice out the front and roll an extra dice out the back, depending on what the situation of his charge is. The, the one curveball that I am surprised with is the Gold Squadron Trooper with cluster missiles. Yeah, that, those, I wonder why. Like, yeah, let's let's stretch I mean, this a little bit. Like, what? Why? Why would we see that there? I mean, normally, like cluster missiles, like Gold Squadron, you just run them at twenty-five points, and and that's what they do. Um, I can't help but think those five points would have been better spent on on something else. Like Mace Windu with Chopper would be phenomenal. Um, but hey, he's 2-0 at the minute. Maybe it'll surprise us. Um, and yeah, there's, there's not really much more I can say about it. it. It might not come into play in this game because you've got a uh, Whisper that's going to want to be away from uh, Rear Admiral Shirino. So if we jump over to the other side... Uh, we've got Rear Admiral Shirano with uh, Lone Wolf, and that's why I say that Whisper's probably going to be dancing around further away from uh, from Rack uh, so that that Lone Wolf can trigger. We've got Darth Vader as a crew. Uh, we've got Proximity Mines and Dauntless Title. Now, that Dauntless Title is uh, money on uh, Rack because basically what it means is even if uh, Shirano bumps, um, he can still take an action that's red. Um, and so what that means is it still allows him to get the um, reinforce action to trigger his ship ability. And with Lone Wolf, it gives him a passive um, reroll. He's not going to use it on his defense because he doesn't have any. Um, and so he's got those um, those built-in modifications there um, with his pilot ability, with Lone Wolf, and with Darth Vader crew. And yeah. then the other ship in the list is Whisper. Sorry, Dan, what were you going to say? No, no, you're good. You're good. Yeah, Whisper, so good at doing the work. Um, and could be really the, um, the the scalpel that Critzy uses uh, to take apart Marco. Yeah, I mean, Whisper there. Interesting that he's got um, advanced sensors and stealth device. Like, that is a fat Whisper. Um, the advanced sensor is interesting because it means that if um, Whisper does the, uh, the decloak and the K-turn, you can take your action before you do the K-turn. So you've still got those those mods built in got duke for doing the uh the dice modification fifth brother for adding a crit and stealth device just adding in those uh those extra green dice which uh hey whisper lives and dies by that's right that's right now looking at the position here um one of the issues that plagues the decimator is that um if it gets out of position it takes a long time for it to get back in because it has no type of reposition unless you have the uh, Moff Jarderod, I think it is, that gives you that extra yeah, boost. Yeah, the one that lets you, lets you do the boost in the system phase, mm -hmm. which would be a great upgrade in this list because Whisper doing a boost in the system phase is disgusting. 
Yeah. So but we'll not in the list. So yeah. So we'll see. We'll see how how Critzy f- flies Decimator. Obviously two and zero so far. Um, but I'm a little concerned about the positioning right now because again we don't know what he's gonna do. But if you end up just taking the Decimator and just like flying down the board. Marco can just choose to be like, you know what? I'm just not going to chase you. Because one of the win conditions that, do, that does exist in X-Wing as well is, uh, you know, final salvo. Right now, it's the, the advantage is heavily towards Marco. Um, and because he has these four, you know, four offensive ships that could really do a lot of damage to the Decimator if it gets too close, he can just keep holding that threat out there and hope that maybe Critzy ends up maybe hanging Whisper out to dry at some point. Because I think if you take out Whisper out early, if you take her out early, uh, that's going to be the game, I would most likely say, because I think she's really going to be the one that does a lot of the heavy lifting in this list. Yeah, it's certainly going to be an interesting uh, interesting matchup because public list um and with rack not having any reposition ability if he gets caught out of position um then he could be hit hard because we see here the um marco's bringing three of the ships into towards his flank yep he's able to pick up a target lock on mace windu here so mace might not have him um in return based on the angle it'll be interesting i think you're right but i wouldn't expect it i wouldn't expect any damage from rack in this situation at range three at mace through a gas cloud um but here mace can can just hard turn in this turn and, and just start chasing so it'd be interesting to see if rack just runs down the board edge or um or decides to try and come in but whisper's got to be careful here because there's not really much room to hide yeah looks like we do have a shot here early through the gas cloud at range three And no reinforce so, out there, but I think he has a force token with Vader. Yeah, use Vader. Should be hit, hit, crit. Yep. Yeah, he's spending Vader. Why Why wouldn't you? Mm-hmm. We're just waiting for the Let's defense dice. With... Yep. All right, and we'll be able to f- use the force out of that plus the cloud. Uh, yeah, use the gas cloud rather mm-hmm. than force because. Yeah, so don't there. Spend w- it if you don't have to. <laughs> That's right. There's a couple of people uh, who were asking some questions uh, in the chat about what is Final Salvo. We didn't mention it, so maybe a newer player. So Final Salvo. Is oh wait, oh, Mace does have a shot back. Yep. Oh, okay. So I guess you spend the two force here. I mean, you have the, yeah, you have the lock. You just, you go for it. I think he only had one. Ah, uh, okay. One left. Oh, you know, he only spent one. I'm surprised. Opportunity well, to. Well, I, I guess it leaves him with his two force for next round. Gas cloud there does no damage. Yeah, I don't know. I. Mm. I don't love it, but I get it. Um, so if a game results in a tie, whether it is, whether it's, um, you know, by like mutual destruction, oh, we've both killed 50 points, um, then, or let's say nothing has died on either side. You know, just The score is tied. Um, if nothing is dead, you take the total amount of red dice in each of the lists and you roll that many dice. So in this case, Kretzi has two three dice attack ships, so he would roll six dice. And Marco has uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it would be a five versus nine roll off. That's how that uh, that's how that works. And then whoever rolls more hits and crits wins. Um, it's a really the that's currently how we break ties uh and it can be a really powerful uh the de- determinator on how people play because if you know that you're ahead 
uh, or let's say if you, if you know that it's tied, time is coming to an end, and you have the option with, uh, between like running away with the ship or engaging it, and it might be smarter to disengage and say, well, you know, I have the advantage in final salvo. I'll take that rather than risking my ship. Uh, that's definitely uh, part of it. So that's hopefully that makes sense there. And if it doesn't, Chris, let me know. But uh, he said he's new to tournaments. Welcome to the squad, fam. Welcome to the squad. Who's gold squad? Your gold squad. Now, Darren, here's here's a real question. Here's something that I think everybody needs to know. Okay. What pretentious breakfast did you make yourself this morning? What pretentious breakfast did I make myself this morning? Yeah. Well, uh, I made my. Has someone actually asked this, or is this what you want to know? <laughs> uh, I'm I'm part trolling you. Yes, I want to know. It's fine. It's fine. I made some dairy-free, gluten-free banana pancakes. Oh, okay. Um, and I have just made myself a breakfast smoothie as well. Oh, well, you're fancy. Break. You're fancy. Yeah, I think that's the, the, the biggest disappointment about um, Worlds probably not happening this year, let's be honest. Um, the thing I was most excited about was the uh, the cooking competition I had lined up with uh, Charlie Hicks from uh, the Birmingham Barons. <laughs> to be honest, he's the only Baron I like. Um, I mean, I don't blame you. Yeah. Um, he cooks some incredible food, uh, and we often do talk about food. Because, hey, this community is wonderful, and not only do you nerd out over spaceships, you also nerd out over cat and dog pictures and uh, and food. And whatever else. Whatever else feels good. Well, the next, when it happens, I, I didn't get a notification. I, I think I should, you know, if not stream it, at least judge it. Absolutely. This is, this is like full on Iron Chef. Um, what was it? Was it Iron Squadron? Was that the, the squadron with the YT2400 in, yep. uh, in Rebels? I think it was. The little kids on Dash Rendar ship. Yes. But not Dash Rendar ship. <laughs> Correct. All right. So there we go. Iron Squadron. Make it happen. So hard to hear from the gold trooper. Might be able to set up some cluster missiles here if you have range for the target lock. Might be just a little bit outside, though. Nope. We're going to get the barrel roll and evade. Takes a stress there for the linked action. Wolf coming too straight in, just setting up for uh, threat. I, I actually really like the position. It threatens Whisper from banking in, uh, and also the hard turn from from Rack. So yeah, strong just, positioning on Marco. Off. Yeah, he's basically he's he's got a net that's spread wide, but he's got so much room down the center of this board uh, to be able to uh, to make most of that. So no target lock there from Annie. Uh, which is a shame. I'm surprised he didn't passive sensors. Yeah, that's he got a little greedy. Mace Windu three bank probably get that uh, fine tune control barrel roll here. Yeah. Oh, he's going that side of the lock. The the object. I think Rex just going to go straight here. Probably. Yeah, just in the two straight. Surprised that Marco um, took the focus rather than picking up the target lock on rack. Wow, that's uh, an that is an aggressive four straight in the fray. Whisper choosing violence. Great pace of play on these players. Oh, yeah, they're doing great. All right, so Mace does have that shot. Uh, it'd be Rack first. Oh, sorry, Rack. One of each.
So no. Uh... All right. Just so using the lock. And, and using the horse. yeah, t- t- aggressive here, taking all three hits. So average should save him. Yep. Uh, actually, the reroll was because of uh, Lone Wolf. Ah, uh, yeah. So, All right. Yeah, the he's safe. Cloud and a force makes that a okay. Remember, the Darth Vader trigger uh, for the ability is only range 0 to 2. Um, Marco's doing a good job of staying not not close, staying far away from that decimator to avoid that trigger. Almost like he's in a galaxy far, far away. Hey, the wars. I've seen Star Wars. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Whisper checking for some uh, range here. Got range two to the uh, to the uh, the Gold Squadron trooper and range three to Wolf. Going into Wolf. Hmm, interesting. I suppose he's got the least defense dice. And no evade token. So two crits. And got the natties, baby. Yeah, whisper jukes, but then he spends the focus. Yep. Juke, no matter. I mean, I guess it matters Zero for consequences. Th- uh, well, right. well, that means that Wolf is not going to get a get a mod on his attack unless he takes it, which might be tempting here without the reinforce on uh, Rack right now. Yeah. Honestly, I'd take the one shield because he's got the range to uh, to Rack. Yep. I think that's the debate, and takes the shield. Yeah. Hoping to roll some focuses. Well, he's he's also got the uh, because it's Wolf, he gets to re-roll a die out the front. There it is. So he's got, he's got the the built-in mod. There it is. Range three. It is in. Just Wolf. range three unobstructed. Rack doesn't have any modification. Uh, and Wolf's got a re-roll and a focus. There we go. Oh, there you go. That feels good. Yeah. Saving the focus feels great there. Yep, so three shields on rack. Plank, plank, plank. That's what you got to do with those decimators. Slowly, slowly plank them away. Well, what it means is because uh, I don't think that Lawf and Annie's going to have a shot this turn. But it will mean that any crits he gets with his uh, proton torpedoes really going to start to sting. Uh, Mace is going to have to use that target lock he set up earlier. Uh, he's already got the lock. I didn't realize that. Mm-hmm. He picked it up in that f- on the first turn, that five straight uh, fine-tuned boost. And spends the focus for two. Uh, the Decimator will have two defense dice here. Has an opportunity to... Maybe dodge. Yeah, so he's got two dice. He's got the gas cloud. Oh, he's fine. Yep. The gold squadron trooper will pretend to try to hit Whisper here in a second. <laughs> hey, you have to support the gold squadron trooper. That is your brand. <laughs> have we closed the poll? Oh, the poll. The poll is uh, might be still open, but the uh, the betting the betting is closed. It closes automatically. Yeah, that gold squadron trooper did nothing. Stupid gold squadron. Hey Nick, just a reminder: the shield on uh, on Wolf decided to take it. Thank you, sir. So where does Whisper go here? Got Whis- to decloak forwards, really. Yeah, I mean. Hmm. Uh, 
Ah, you got so you got forward. Can't decloak to the uh, to the right. And you have the advanced sensors as well, right? That's the other thing you got yeah. there. Man, the positioning is a little bit rough. Barrel left. Might be, hmm. I don't know. I have no idea where he's going to go with Whisper. I don't know. Well, the thing is, because of the advanced sensors, Whisper can decloak to the left, barrel roll to the left, and then K-turn, or just get the hell out of there. You're right. I think the safer call might be decloak forward. Yeah. And if you if you have that aggressive like hard turn in there, uh, you would have that advanced sensors barrel roll if you need it in order to move a little bit more to the left to possibly uh, purposely bump onto Anakin if Anakin hard turns in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I think Whisper has to decloak uh, forwards in this position. Mm -hmm. Um, it's just, it, it's surprising the amount of distance that could be covered if, um, if Whisper decloaked to the left with that advanced sensors barrel roll, because all of a sudden you're going three, four, four, like five to the left. A couple of people, uh, are trying to place bets now, unfortunately... I mean, if I'm gonna say fortunate for for people who got it earlier. Uh, you got to get it in the beginning of the game. So even if the choose your champion poll is open, that doesn't mean the betting the betting's open. It closes automatically for reasons like this, like when I forget to close the poll. I wonder if is there a button on here. I can do that. There's not. All right, Darren. I mean, so. Hmm. I think we just see some conservative moves here from uh, from Marco. One banks, some banking maneuvers to the left. You bring Mace Windu to continue bullying the decimator. Yeah, like the, the the little gold squadron could just do the uh, the one bank and pick up the lock on Whisper, clear his stress and 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 have the target lock for for later in the game. Um, Wolf, you might want to do a two forwards or a three forwards. Oh, here we go! Oh, we System go. The, phase, uh, threatening Mace. I, mean, I think even the three bank doesn't hit it, but it's gonna force Mace to. Uh, to do some stuff here to have to move around yeah. so he did decloak forward with whisper mm -hmm. two straight there from the gold squadron trooper okay is he going to try and pick up the lock or is he just going to focus barrel roll evade i think might be the call yep hmm. It's not quite ready yet. Not quite ready for prime time. I could see the the choice for waiting, waiting until you know for sure all th like you have multiple ships with uh with arc on a target where it's like hey you can shoot these other more valuable targets or this gold squadron trooper, but the gold squadron trooper gets that cluster missile shot which really, for, out of anything is just a re a three dice attack. Um, yeah. you know that one turn when it matters. All right, taking the focus there. And now we wait for Anakin. Anakin going to do any shenanigans here? Looks, Looks like, like he's uh, going for the barrel roll. He's thinking about it, thinking about it. <laughs> Bear rolling to the right. Four straight. 
get three evade. And I'm guessing he might just take the target lock. He's right there. Yeah. See, I, hmm, I'm a passive centers, but I think I think you're right. I think you should have just taken the lock there. Because even if you don't um, get the shot this turn, which oh, that's nice and close for uh, for Mace Windu there. Yeah, Mace has got a barrel all the way from those uh, those mines. No, thank you. No, thank you. But also looking at Critzy's play, if we're expecting the um... <laughs> thank you, Selbrut. Um, if we're expecting the same type of play, just like you know, slow one forward, two forward, that proton torpedo probably still uh, still gonna hit. And Mace decides to go to the outside. I like the move, making sure not to jam up Anakin. Yeah. That was Dexter. <laughs> Your little buddy. And there is the three hard turn. Probably gonna end up just firing into uh, into Wolf. Yeah, it takes the focus. The uh, wolf didn't use his reroll last turn, did he? No, he did not. Because otherwise, it'd be it'd be the three dice out the back into a whisper. Which whisper focus evade probably t uh, a second evade and the the stealth device and the force. Um, yeah, we did see the reinforce off of the decimator on the back. Yeah, it makes sense. It gives them the dice modification, gives them the protection as well. So, and with Anakin only having a lock on that proton torpedo, could make the could make the torpedo feel a little sad. Yeah, and that's the that's the thing because he spent the force this turn. He doesn't have that double modded shot now. If he can get rid of the last shield from uh, Rack, you probably want to just take it anyway because you get two shots out of proton torpedoes. So. All right, Rack. So who got Rack? Who's he going into? So that's hit hit crit if he wants to spend all of his mods. I mean, he's got Lone Wolf. So he spent the lock. And does he remember his rack ability? I think he's forgotten it. Yeah. One evade. I know because rack's an eyeball, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's off of focus. And he's going to go ahead and spend the force. So Mace is plumb out of force tokens, but does have a focus from the action. Here comes Whisper. Has range He's three. Seen to Wolf again. Yeah. Three blanks on Whisper there. That feels bad. Rolls to die because you can. <laughs> Maximum disrespect. <laughs> Stupid whisper. So yeah, I think we're going to see some uh, some things go into hole here. Shooting with it's wolf first, wolf. trying to get rid of the sh that last shield. Yeah, so for the reroll, he's got the focus. So does he spend it? Yeah, you spend yep. the wall for you roll. And there it is. Hit, hit, crit. So that's at least the shield gone. Uh, he should have one more dice. Should have one more mm, dice. No, it's range two. Isn't oh, it's it? range two? Okay, never mind. Yeah. Yeah, so the shield's gone with the reinforce. Yep. Remember, reinforce adds an evade. Um, up to a minimum of one damage going through. And there was the crit when you had a shield there. 
Slappy words. So now I think because that shield's gone, you, you fire with uh, Annie and you fire the torpedoes. Yep. This is Mace first. Uh, two hits yep. going in at range two. There is a die. Got the blank, so and that's two another. cards. No, it's another one because of the reinforce. Ah, uh, the reinforce. Sorry, I just I just finished talking about the reinforce and I forgot. All right, uh, now the proton and torpedo. This, yeah, this is where reinforces money because you've got uh, two three ships firing at you. It's just slowly reducing that damage you're taking. But here we've got the uh, yeah spending the charge. It, yes, it's not double modded, but um, getting a crit into uh, into rack. So is uh, is worth it. Estimated expected damage is going is hit crit, but we'll see what ends up happening. All right. Well, so we're already above average. Nope, hit the average. All right. So hit cr hit crit actually goes through after the reinforce. Yep. So it depends what that crit is. Weapons failure. Ooh, in a two-ship list, weapons failure? Feels bad. Um, so he's going to have to waste an action. I say waste. Use an action. Yeah, to, I mean, one of the to get I'm that flip. With uh, Marco in, in this game is how well he's done the range control. To mm -hmm. He's managed to stay at range um, two to three. Um, Vader's obviously not triggered is in beta crew so it's meant that um marco still had those uh, those green tokens for modification yeah the, the approach here has been really really strong for sure the key to the game though i think uh it's going to be that gold squadron trooper I'm telling you <laughs> Yes. <laughs> it will be the gold squadron trooper. Yes, absolutely. Who knows? Maybe 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 the gold squadron trooper's like in in uh in Critzy's head, you know? It's like, man, I don't, I don't want to take that cluster missile shot. To be honest, it wouldn't be surprise it wouldn't surprise me if that gold squadron trooper finished it off. Um yeah. Shout out to MJ37 in the chat. Good morning. Where, where, what part of the world are you waking up from? Probably somewhere in the U.S., I would guess. All right, so we're waiting for dials here. And before we go too far, I want to remind you guys that this game and all of our games today are brought to you by Curled Paw Creatives. Use coupon code... Space Jam 2020 for 20% off. No minimums there. So if you just need a couple of tokens, maybe you've lost a couple, or you just want to take a look at see uh, what are some of the things you have available, use that coupon code Space Jam 2020. There's a couple of new items out there as well as frosted versions of the tokens. So get yours now. Now, Darren. You know, you said you had your fancy breakfast, but what's yep. what's the plan for fancy dinner? Um, so lunch, I might get delivered just so that I can, you know, keep things going. Um, dinner, I've not decided yet. I've got a few things that um, I might cook. I try and include bell peppers as much as possible because your main man, Marcel, hates them. <laughs> and so I can feel the rage uh whenever i make something with uh, bell peppers i might try and do something with bell peppers and sunflower seeds because he's all about his sunflowers like he likes to grow them i like to eat them true yeah uh there's a couple questions here in the chat i want to address somebody saying how many rounds today this is a this is a premier event tournament we have six rounds uh total for swiss and we'll be back tomorrow with the top cut Remember, we're playing off of the uh, we're. This is a quote unquote European based tournament uh, using the Spain. Uh, sorry, Spain. Ha! The Rome, Italy, um, clocks. All right. Looks like it's uh, 
action time here pretty soon. Looks like the one dial that we're flip-flopping on right now is uh, Whispers. Oh, I think we just got it settled yeah. in. Question is, are we going to see another uh, Proxmine drop here from Rack just to get it out there? It, it cuts off that lane from Anakin. It does. But it... Anakin's really annoying in that he can just barrel roll before he activates. All right. So there's the decloak from Whisper. It's a pretty aggressive move, but I think at this point, Critzy might be feeling the pressure. Saying, all right, Whisper's got to do something now. I mean, there's still no points on the board, but Marco's definitely in a, uh, a bit of a commanding presence. Yep, there we go, the second uh, mind drop. And gold hundred, but are we going to see the target lock? Yeah, there we go. He took it. It's it's his time. Wolf coming in aggressive. Well, we know that Rack's going to go forward here. It's, well, we don't know it, but it'd be pretty sure. surprising if he would take a turn. Just takes the focus there. Probably if uh, if the Vader trigger happens, you're like, yeah, I'll just I'll just take the damage. It's fine. Well, it looks like Anakin's going to do his pre-move barrel roll to avoid those mines. And probably says straight and go into the back of uh, yeah there we go oh no three bank and still bumps though and this is an interesting turn one forward with uh, Anakin not having any force available and not having his evade. Whisper could do some damage. All right. And yeah, that gold squadron trooper will have a shot. Might be obstructed, but... You looks like you probably have four. All right. Well, Rack has everybody in arc except the Gold Squadron Trooper. Range three for Mace. Range one for Wolf. Range two for Anakin. So, do you Darth Vader crew here to get rid of Wolf's focus, or do you save it for your own uh, mods? So it looks like looks like uh, it's going to whisper first. Uh, he used Vader on Anakin already. Ah, uh, okay. Yep, hit crit. Double eyeballs well, there. Crit going into Annie. Mm hmm. Nothing you can do about that one. All well, the thing is, as I was saying, with Anakin losing the, uh, oh! using the force. Weapons failure. Weapons failure. That feels bad. Three dice proton torpedoes. But at the same time, there's no reinforce out there, so. Yeah. I think, honestly, Rack here goes into uh, to Annie if he's got the arc. Yeah, weapons failure was on Anakin. Did I see somebody asking a question there? All right, so one of each. Did Rack clear his weapon failure? Yeah, the cards. He did. Down. And this is Rack firing, and just one of eight is needed, so we're all good there. 
was trying to clear Anakin off the table. Not going to happen. All right. Anakin's turn. Firing at Rack. And it looks like he's going primary. No. Does he have the lock? He does. I thought we spent it last turn. He reacquired it this turn, didn't he? He bumped. Oh. So it's Mace Windu. Ah, it's Mace. Okay, got it. Two damage. On to Rack. Rack's taking six cards. It's down to six. And Wolf at range one. Hit, hit, crit. And that is a panic pilot. Double stress. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Only three hall left. You know what's got a three dice shot coming in? <laughs> what's that? The <laughs> squadron trooper. <laughs> come on, come on, trooper. Now he'll have the gas cloud, but if he rolls an eyeball, this is very true. <laughs> uh, uh, he just he did the, the primary. primary. Coward. He didn't want to get greedy. He's like, I'll take it next turn. They spin in the lock. Mm. Oh, cluster's only range one to two. So safe there. Uh, okay. How disappointing. All right, 29 minutes and change left on the clock here. And uh, Marco, you know, I know the score looks like it's, uh, you know, 29.53. Seems pretty close, but the, the positioning game right now uh, really favors Marco. The question is, you know, Rack's going to be gone next turn, right? Like that's almost almost no doubt without anything yeah. uh and happening unfortunately for Kretzi, those proximity mines did nothing right uh because mace windu had the maneuverability just to be like all right i'm just gonna move over here a little bit and be fine um whisper it as she continues down into the corner chasing these republic ships um will she have enough space in order to set up that like you know god mode whisper where she's just like picking things off and never getting shot will she even have enough time to do that and this is the problem here so because rack is now double stressed um it, it could hard turn because he's realistically got to try and stay on the board but if he hard turns he gets no shot yep um so there's almost an argument to say you know what you just take a one straight <laughs> yeah but at the same time, if you t if you take a one straight, you're like, do you just take your other ships and say, all right, well, we're just going to get it set up to to fire at Whisper because Rack is dead. But at least with a one straight, you still get a turn of shooting. True. And and you wouldn't expect it. Maybe even a one bank because you still keep your your rear arc on spread. mace. Yep. But that's the challenge now. Rank, rank's going down. If you hard turn, you get no more shots with him. And he dies this turn. If you do one straight, at least you get um, a double modded shot. So you've got Lone Wolf, you've got Vader. Um, and you could try and do some damage. Whereas if you turn around, um, you're doing nothing. Uh, you can see right now, Critzy has that dial right next to that board edge, and <laughs> you can even see the little hand like moving on the table, going like, "Crap, where do I go?" <laughs> yeah. 
And we have that dial set in all the way. So I think Whisper decloaks uh, to the left here. I like it. I like it. Gives you puts you in a good spot in order to chase Anakin. Yeah. And I want to remind you all that not this weekend, but the following, uh, sorry, not next weekend, but the one after that is Space Jam LA. That We are sold out. We did sell out of the Space Jam LA. Tickets for Space Jam Sydney will be going on sale soonish. I wanted to get past this event first. So be on the lookout there. I'll be posting it on... Uh, I'll be sending some messages to some of the Australians directly. Some of the Australian squads. Give them priority on, on buying tickets. And um, after that, we'll open it up to everybody else. And then we'll be playing Down Under. Have you had anybody enter um, all four? Or trying to enter all four? So have you got someone that's bought LA, bought what was the last one? Chicago? Whatever. Yeah. Um, and, and UK? I Not think... UK, uh, so one person I know who is in both so far has been in... Is Okta Khan. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if he had an LA ticket. So yeah, there we see the decloak from Whisper and then the, uh, the banking from Gold Squadron that could. All right. Huh. So, Wolf there taking that turn to the outside. Yeah, I like that because it gets him the extra dice out the back and recharges his reflips his charge. True. So he gets but, th three dice rear shot. I guess... Um, I, I, th I feel like it's a little bit greedy, though, because now you're going to have to take a couple turns to get turned around in order to engage with Whisper. Um, yeah, there is that, but, um, it, Wolf's the one that Whisper's been going after. True. Um, other than last turn where he had a great target opportunity with, uh, Baby Annie. So I don't hate it. But it does mean that Wolf is going to have to take the long way around and go all the way up around the bacon cloud and come back in. So did Wolf steal that critical marker? I think that belongs to Anakin. <laughs> sure does. All right, Anakin. It's a hard three there for money. It's gonna barrel roll in maybe to the left, trying to go mm. for a block on Whisper. I don't know. Do you, do you boost there? Do you fix your weapon damage? I think that's what he's just trying to work out. It's kind of an awkward place. Yeah, I think he's accepted that between the little gold squadron that could and um, Mace, Rack's done for, so... Uh, looks like he's going to boost, or at least he's looking at his maneuvering options. Yeah, like, like I think if you were trying to go for a block or, or, or avoiding, you could have done your... Uh, Pre-move barrel roll. Pre-move barrel roll, do the hard three... And then barrel roll again, and that would guarantee, like, that would have him in front of Whisper, like, right in front, and you know that Whisper can't shoot you unless she case turns, which is unlikely. We'll see how aggressive yeah. uh, she got here. So, two forward so might still get the if bump. Whisper, if Whisper does the two forward, it might still bump. Ah, Advanced sensors. And that arc is close. But I think it's just a bit outside. We can go to the top-down camera here just to take a peek. Yeah, I think that's just a little outside. So Rack did do the hard turn. All right, so Rack's not going to get a shot. The gold squadron trooper is not going to get a shot, I don't think. Oh. Rack may survive. 
It's close. Mace Windu pretty much has to do it by himself, and if Wolf has uh, has the range. All right, Whisper probably just takes that range three shot. I think you got Wolf to try and get him to burn the focus. Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. Because you've got Duke. That is bad. One crit yeah. with fifth brother. Most yeah. likely a okay. Gas cloud will do it. Juke does nothing. Yeah. So he gets to keep the focus. I mean, to be honest, even if he'd have rolled like double eyeballs there, I'd have just taken the shield. Yeah, agreed. Like it's 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 not into hull. It doesn't take into half points. Uh, you want to guarantee that uh, you can take the decimator off the board, or at least give yourself as many chances as possible. Three dice out yeah. the back because of Wolf's ability that flips a charge, so that he has to reroll out the front now. And that focus go. pays off three hits. So one die from Rack. He needs to roll paint. Just waiting for the defense roll. So you spend the force. Mm hmm. Two. So a little bit of argument happened, not argument, but like debate happening in the chat right here is the passive sensors whisper versus advanced sensors whisper. Ooh, yeah, that's, that's, that's get That's rack gone. Um, yeah, I am more inclined for passive sensors or even fire control system on whisper. Well, so you can't go fire control because she doesn't have native target lock, right? Uh, not fire control, sorry. Uh, targeting computer, but then you'd lose the uh, the stealth device. So, yep. All right. So decimator goes down. Whisper versus the world now with eighteen minutes and change left on the board. Like whisper can do this, but not with eighteen minutes left. So the, the one advantage that Kretzi's got here is that all of uh, Marco's ships are pointing in different directions, and they're all out of position, so they've all got to try and disengage. That's right. Everybody's got to disengage, but that means that Whisper chooses one, and you choose correctly, you just start picking off little by little. Um, let's see here. Uh, I think Anakin's number one target. Yep. He has only two hole left. Uh, he'll be the easiest to uh to get and marco like this is me just kind of maybe over analyzing but i haven't i think the proton torpedoes were fairly easy to get off but i still haven't seen the like um like we haven't seen marco prove that he can use anakin beyond the proton torpedoes, you know, the, the pre-movement really seeing how that can matter, um, which might, might give Critzy a little bit of an advantage there though with his c current cloaking, you're kind of forced to go forward and then maybe hard turn to the left, which seems just a little predictable, but we'll see. Yeah. It all really depends on who wants to chase down. Um, because not a huge amount has taken damage. Like, let's be honest, he's only done um, a couple of points into Anakin and the shield from Wolf, which is nothing at the end of the day. Yep. For our viewers here, I want to remind you guys that after this round, we will have a break. If anybody who's listening right now is a player, remember, we're going to get set up for round four before we you actually walk away from your computer. So don't forget about that.
So there we've got the decloak from Whisper. Going to the left. I'm excited to eat my breakfast after this. <laughs> what are you having? I'm surprised I just have some scrambled eggs. Real quick. Strong. Quick. Easy. Oh, I guess technically it would be my my lunch. Lunch. <laughs> All right, Anakin, hiding behind Whisper. It's a good spot to be. I like it. Good, Did good moves. Good move. Up? And he is. Yeah. Be the you threat. The lock up, and then, and then next turn you can try and come in and um, get rid of the uh, weapon failure. That's right, and you have one proton torpedo left in the tank, so you got to keep doing that. Yeah, I think from Mace Windu here, we see the hard one. Look at me, Whisper. Let's fight. The fact that Mace is untouched is absolutely massive. Yeah. Yeah, so there's the hard one. Um, probably see the barrel roll. Yeah. Nope, checking for the lock just out. Yep. I would have liked to seen the fine-tuned barrel roll back. Back into the left. Because that get that would have given you the option, like the look, to either go back forward or turn to the to the right. I uh, I'd have personally liked it left and forwards. Oh, whisper, no shot. Mace might be able to tag at range three. Yeah, so we've got Mace range three. Uh, he's got the evade. He's got four dice. Got the force. There's a chance. Three hits. Start it. Two blanks will force him to either take a shield or get rid of the evade. Oh! oh. You gotta spend the evade. You have to. Yeah, but you, you you lose the stealth device as well. That's the that's the kicker. So you spend the evade. You take two. And the stealth, the stealth device, device is broken. You, you can't cloak. It's a bad day. That is a bad day for Whisper. I'm so happy. <laughs> He's taking both shields. Uh, yep, yeah, so both shields. Spent the evade. Um... <laughs> yeah. Now, I mean, Marco is clearly in the driver's seat now. You don't you don't want to overextend continue playing smart keep threatening with mace um hard turn that trooper just keep threatening yeah i mean the uh wolf you just do like a two bank start coming back around um anakin you could even just just bug out and just rely on your focus of aid you know, I, I have I have to comment to the fact that a lot of people are losing points on this game. <laughs> I couldn't, I, I I could not not mention it. There was quite a large so those pot. That on, uh, those that bet on Marco, uh, enjoy your payday. That's right. That's good. They're going to be reaping reaping the benefits. If only the points were the salty tears of the losers. <laughs> There were uh, there's three thousand five hundred and seventy two points in the pot. Uh, okay, how, how many bet on Marco? Six seventy uh, percent. Seventy percent bet on Marco to win. Yeah. Oh, on Marco? No, sorry, on Marco. Yeah. Thirty thirty percent. So how many players is that? That's uh, for ten. Ten. Yeah, so they get about three hundred each. Yeah. It's pretty sweet. Okay, Marco's just gone full crazy Ivan and uh, done some unexpected moves there. <laughs> Twitchy 5x5 five five claiming three wins in a row. Very nice. Uh, and Nano Antonio, so 
you're not betting against the house. You're betting against each other. So there's not, um, like there's not a multiplier in there. It's simply taking what was bet and splitting it amongst everybody. If that makes sense. If you were playing against like the house, that'd be a little different. Yeah, so there we see the bank from Wolf. Mace doing the, the hard one. Fine tune barrel roll and then a boost. Try and get that arc round. Uh, one more comment on the betting thing. Uh, so, so yes, how much you bet does affect it. It's, so it's, you take, it's, so you split it amongst the winners, but it's not split evenly. I'm sorry. I think I may have said that by accident. You split it to the percentage of how much you bet. If that makes sense. Okay. So we've got hit quick going into the gold squadron. At range three with an evade is probably not going to do much. Just needs one squiggle. Oh, takes a takes a crit. So takes a crit. It'll be hard turn to red. <laughs> well, at least you, you go without fighting. Fuel leak. No, hole breach. Excuse no. me. Everything's face up. So Whisper Recloaks. Kind of going to see the candy cane here, I think. Yeah, that's... Just got to keep... Keep doing the good fight. That's all you can do. Hmm. So if he kills Mace Windu and gets the gold to half, he win. Um, Kretzi wins by like two points. Yeah, but eight minutes, and he had to, Marco would have to play super sloppy with Mace in order to make that happen. Yeah. Yeah. No. Absolutely. Uh, but looking at it, I think that's the only kind of only way he pulls this back because the other two ships are just staying out of the fight as they should. So Gold Squadron Trooper turns in. Barrel roll evade is the call there. Mace probably just can do the hard one and then boost. Wolf went ahead and hit the cloud. It's like, well, I guess I'll turn in now. Takes a strain, but doesn't matter because Whisper's so far away. Yeah, fine tune boost. I had somebody in the chat asking, "Do does MOV count in this tournament? It does count because of our faction prizes. We do have some faction prizes up. So you want to get as many points as possible because that's how that's a tiebreaker for that. Looks like Anakin flipped the weapons failure. Makes sense. Whisper two banking in. Takes focus and range two shot into gold squadron. Oh man, Jeez. feels bad. Yeah, Whisper's had some shocking red dice this game and green dice. Mm. 
Well, that's uh, is that range three or is it range two? That's a crit going through. Mace Windu doing the work, so that's going to be going underneath the shields. First card for Whisper, and this will be half points. Weapons failure. I mean, it wasn't working in the first. <laughs> yeah. the, the, the weapon failed a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, I think. Uh, yeah, so if I'm if I'm Kretzi right now, I'm just playing for for MOV, or if if you. Just want a longer break. This might be a good idea if you want to cool off. I mean, you, you understand when games like this happen, it's just you're you're a little on tilt, right? Just maybe the taking a break is is okay. It's all right to walk away from a game. Now I want to remind you guys that we will have a break after this round. But uh, don't go too far, because we'll be uh, back with round four, five, and six. So nearing the halfway point? Yeah, we're very, very close. Well, halfway point of day one. <laughs> All right. Looks like Whisper's ready to go. Who's see here? Decloak forwards, or in fact, no, no decloak, is there? No, yeah. Spent the bait. Had to. Part three left. That's what Whisper should do. Hard three to the uh, hard three. <laughs> Go out on his own terms. Yeah, can't kill me if I'm not on the board. All right. Mace is in a good spot, ready to try to finish off a whisper in the next couple turns. What's your favorite way to finish people off, Dion? <laughs> ah. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> you right there, buddy? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Anakin did the boost. Yep. So has anyone said in chat what they uh, what they want to see? So we've seen rebels, we've seen imperials, we've seen scum, we've seen republic. We've seen, seen first, first order. order. We're missing just separatists. Separatists is the only thing we haven't seen. And republic. Uh, no, republic. Um, the other terrorist. That's the one. Our resistance. There you go. The other terrorists. Yeah, most likely we won't get a droid swarm at any point. All right, there's the barrel roll. Oh, One nice. heart, candy cane. Like, yeah. listen, I'm going out on my own terms. Still a chance. Range one. There's the dice showing up. Little late. Oh, disrespectful. <laughs> oh, my Juke. goodness. Yep. Juke is active, but he's, you spend the evade. Yeah, one crit, no matter what. Yeah. And, and he had a whole bridge anyway, so. Oh, he had weapons failure. He rolled oh. too many dice. The dice gods will punish him. Yes. All right, here's Mace trying to finish off Whisper. Whisper has two hole left. Four hits, three hits, and a crit. 
Whisper goes bye bye. That's we were waiting for fireworks. We got them. Of course, ends with the double evades, but doesn't matter. That is it. Congratulations to Marco winning that game 29 to 200. Thank you to Critzy and Marco for playing. Let's do those payouts because, uh, yeah, that, uh, I got to refresh my page here. I mean, if, if the internet's about one thing, it's about watching people be finished off. <laughs> Marco is the winner.